Hey guys, um, so today uh, I'm just going to bring you along while I do my makeup. I typically go for a really natural look, nothing too crazy, just kind of an everyday go to class look. So I'm just going to uh, wash my face to get prepped and then we'll sit down and do it together. Okay, so my face is clean, it is moisturized, and now um, we're ready to jump right in to my makeup routine. So here's my makeup bag. It's telling me right here, this is what I'm gonna be using. Uh, I use IT Cosmetics um, CC Cream as my foundation. So you're just gonna um, get some and just put it on your face like so, um, it kind of looks like war paint, doesn't it? Just ready to really take on the day as a warrior, battling through any bad feelings. And so just, um, you only really need a little bit. Any spot and uh, areas you feel not confident about or that have um, little blemishes, you know, it can really work almost like a spot treatment. Like you can almost think of it as concealer, honestly. Just a little areas you don't love and then once it's like this you could just work on blending it all together love blending but right now it does you can kind of see the brush marks it's only because it, it's fresh and then it, it'll just sort of sink into your face now. Um, it should get under the eye um, as college students we get a lot of under eye uh, get a lot of under eye bags because of our lack of sleep but you can just take care of that and should we do it on top of the eye too? I've never really seen anyone do this before. It's just kind of like my trick that I do. Yeah, and just keep blending, keep blending. You should blend into the cheek, kind of like slow down. And since it is a pretty strong foundation, we are going to need to add back a bit of our face shape with some light uh, contour and highlight. But again, nothing crazy because this is a daytime look. Looks like we have some nice light, even coverage, and we're ready to move on to the next step. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows next. Um, I use this bold, bold brow. There's two colors. I um, used a darker one because I like a stronger contrast with my face. So you just um, get a little on this little eyebrow brush. Um, I don't know if you can see. Not a ton of product, but it's a small angled firm brush. And you just kind of uh, like color inside the lines basically. So just anywhere that your eyebrow is, you, um, you color that. You can always see this one looks way better. And just do it so. And then just make sure to go like this so that they're in place. In progress, if you're here. So far. Um, next we're gonna work on the rest of our face. I have two colors of blush that I really like. This is um, Uber Beige by Bobbi Brown, and this is Powder Pink, pink number six. Um, I can put links um, to the products in the comments or in the description of the video. Uh, I just like the blend because uh, the pink is, is pretty bright. The Uber Beige has a bit more of a um, natural uh, orange tone to it and so I just use a blend of them so I actually just apply with my fingers and then blend with a brush so you just kind of grab a bit like so on your index finger and just the top this is the pink we're gonna take our middle finger <laughs> and get some of the beige and just uh, do it on top too and then uh, I have this um, Kabuki brush uh, from NARS also. 
and you just kind of uh, circle circular motions, just sort of blend it in. If you, it looks so silly, but if you make that pouty face with your mouth, it helps for blending. Move on to our contour. I have this contour highlight, oh, highlight palette from NARS. It is a hot sand and Laguna. I actually also have hot sand, which is the highlight in a stick form. So I'm, I'm actually going to use a cream stick for the highlight afterwards. But I just like the powder contour. This angled brush, just run the mill, like not even from a brand, just random. Get some. Make sure to get a lot. Um, because the contour needs to look pretty strong to define the cheekbones. The same face you had so that you know exactly where your cheek line is. And you just... Wow, that's like really defined. That looks really And then the same thing on the other side. And then we have our um, NARS highlighter stick. So if you've never done highlighter before, oh, oh my god. It's fine. Just if, if this happens to you, um, just put it right back in. Should be fine and then just balance it so that it doesn't fall out we go top the cheekbones um, and then the t-zone so nose chin and top of the forehead kind of like back and forth sweep like that like that and then i always just add a little more circular nose i actually get this kabuki brush just kind of follow the strokes of what you did so for the eyes um i don't do anything too crazy eyes first this is like a liquid shimmer um, just to start the glitter process and then we'll add the powder glitter on top. Crazy, I have this really small um, eyeshadow palette from I think it's L'Oreal. Just kind of looks like that. Some of that pink product that we had earlier. And just sort of do it um, closer to the base of the eye. We're just going to add a very small bit of liquid eyeliner um, just to make the eyes really pop. Um, typically if I'm doing a different kind of edgier nighttime look I do a wing um, but we're just gonna keep it really small because it's it's daytime so we're just gonna do you just kind of pull it and just follow the shape of the eye. About like that would be kind of what I would go for um, and then just the same on the other side. Yeah? Okay, awesome, I'll be ready. Um, uh, mascara, I have uh, Sumptuous Extreme from uh, Estee Lauder. Don't be afraid to make your lashes really thick. You'd be surprised, like, they probably make the biggest difference in terms of um, your eyes really looking uh, accentuated. Uh, the last step in my daytime look is my lips. The first step is always to moisturize, moisturize, moisturize with, I use Vaseline. Pretty simple, just apply. You can be generous with this. Um, you can already see it adds kind of a shine on its own. The Sephora Cream Lip Stain. Um, I really love how it stays all day um, and I don't need to worry about it fading. And it's pretty strong, so you only need a little bit. And if you get any on your teeth, you could just... And then I, I add a small amount of this uh, cream Estee Lauder Orchid color, um, just because it's a nice extra pop. But yeah, my look, I'll go on to, uh, to do my hair, and that's my uh, daytime. Just get ready for school look. Thanks for joining me.